Hello everybody. Welcome back to another Shadowline video. This time it's going to be like a patch notes thing. So just today they released R66. I don't really know what the R stands for, but it's a monthly update. And with it came the premium founders pack, which comes with, four, if you have the original founders pack, you already, you get a little bit of a discount. Not by much. It's still pretty expensive, but you get eight skins for all the current heroes in the game as well as skins for the all the tier one guns, as well as head pieces for all eight of the characters, as well as I think five trinkets. So that's pretty cool. Is it worth the money? It's up entirely up to you. I'm probably gonna get it just cause I'm making a lot of Shadowline content, so why not? There's also gonna be lots of weapon balancing. For example, one of the biggest ones, shotguns. And so in the, a lot of the feedback, they say shotgun players were concerned that shotguns were useless at mid range. I kind of agree. And so they said, oh, we're going to add a small little damage increase at mid range. So that's cool. And they also put in a side note saying that overall shotgun is the most controversial weapon in the community in any FPS game. I fully agree. And another part of the major feedback was about shotguns being overpowered. And they say that in their data, nothing proves that it was overpowered. So that's actually pretty cool. And they have data to back it up, apparently. And then another thing is the bolt action sniper rifles. One shot kill to the head, neck, chest, and shoulders, and upper arms. I'm assuming at all ranges, I think, maybe, I'm not sure. No one shot kill to the belly, legs, and lower arms. So that's actually pretty cool. That's really nice change. And then there's a Zenith automatic rifle, the Zenith AR. They reworked the recoil pattern and lots of other balance tweaks here. And then there's also the Mega Heads PvP event. So this is actually kind of cool. It's basically gigantic heads. That sounds really fun. And I'm really excited about that. The head size is depicted on the HUD as well. So that's actually kind of funny. And then there's new movable vehicles on the Old Town PvP map. Marvel won't receive a score for self-healing anymore. So that's kind of sad. <laughs> but this is a good balance change, I guess. Slide abuse. We added slide speed recovery time. You can still perform another one, but the starting speed is, will be much lower. So that's actually really cool because there's lots and lots and lots of sliding in this game. So that's a good change right there. Credit session rewards were increased. So that's actually amazing because I'm always struggling with credits. And Ram's ultimate cooldown was increased by a third. So I guess Ram's ulti was charging way too fast. And so they moved the test for conquest and escort. So there's new tasks there. And the outnumbered task became easier. Instead of five kills with the primary weapon and five kills with the sidearm without dying, four and two. Good change. The stealth mode task condition was changed. Instead of killing an enemy with a precision shot while crouching in PvP, you now need to kill an enemy with a sidearm. That's a good change as well. And now they added a new encounter, so more random elements into the game. Now that's the power stones encounter as where I think it's um you shoot three pillars at the same time to destroy them to be able to deal damage to it we'll watch the video uh towards the end of this video so that we can see that new UI changes so that's actually really cool new in-game support tickets and player reporting thank you reporting is very very important all right now let's watch the monthly roundup video Greeting Shellguard. Shatterline has full screen. There we go. Okay. Has been updated to release 66. Here's a quick patch highlights. The premium founders pack. Exclusive full body suits for all operatives, plus several sick looking weapon skins. Right, I'm gonna pause here real quick just to talk about this. I if you already have the regular one, you would already have Mava, Ram, Mongoose, and Kite. So the new ones you're gonna get is Orbit, Strix. I'm assuming that's Breeza. That hairstyle is really awesome. And Pill. And if you also notice, you're also getting new headpieces for all of them. For example, Ram, you get a new headpiece as well. So that's actually pretty cool. So this is this actually might be worth it. A special discount for owners of the original Founders Pack. Thank you for the discount. Balance tweaks for shotguns and bolt action sniper rifles. Give that tax fighter web another try. I don't have it. I want it, but I don't have it. This tax new expedition objective. 
the urchin destroy three the power urchin. stones at the same time to deal yeah, at with the this same crystalline time. anomaly in I game reports now you can report suspicious players for cheating or offensive behavior good that is much needed more movable objects lots of new vehicles to kick around that's gonna be lots of fun color grading for attachment effects that's now good. the bonuses and drawbacks are clear as day operatives lobby overhaul enjoy your characters it looks is abs with those are absolutely UI beautiful by the way tasks have been moved to the season tab track your season progress in one place that's amazing as well in game support tickets now you can send your queries directly to the dev team amazing numerous Hopefully bugs get lots and glitches of spam. have been fixed thanks to the community feedback keep up the good work and let's make shatterline better together so that is everything that has changed with r66 or oh, release 66 that's what the r stands for who would have thought so if you guys enjoyed this kind of video it's not really edited it's just me talking to a camera while showing off things in shatterline i uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and i'll see you guys in the next video so don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.